bad assembly practices that affect final bolt load. After the flange has been assembled, pre-tightened, there are several bad practices that affect the reliability of a bolted flange joint, improper lubrication, with clicker wrenches. No lubrication. You will see that without lubricant, the bolt stress is lower than our target bolt stress of 40 KSI. This test averages at 28.8 KSI with a low amount of 27.3 and a high of 31. Partial lubrication. Inconsistent or only partially lubricating the studs will result in unfavorable bolt stress. While the average bolt stress has increased by 5.4 KSI, we still have not yet achieved our target of 40 KSI. Bolts that are not lubricated in the same fashion will have a greater variation in the bolt load. Proper lubrication. Properly lubricated studs will result in a tight bolt load at our desired stress target. When lubricating, be certain that all valleys of the stud bolt threads are filled. Once the nut is hand tightened, you should see a bead of lubricant extruding from beneath the nut. This indicates that the lubrication has been applied to all working surfaces. Pay close attention to the bolt load. Notice how the bolt load has increased, now achieving bolt loads much closer to the target bolt load of 40 KSI. And notice how the variation of the bolt load has drastically reduced when all working surfaces are properly lubricated. Hand tightening after proper lubrication. This example has the assembler tightening a bolt with a boxed end wrench on a 7 8 inch stud. Notice how the amount of load on each stud is different. We call that bolt scatter, and reliable flanges need to have good bolt scatter in order to be reliable. Also notice the amount of bolt stress that is present on a 7 8 inch stud. This is without a cheater bar attached to the wrench. If we apply the same amount of torque to a 3 quarter inch bolt, we would achieve roughly 80% of the yield strength designated here. If we apply the same torque to a 5 eighths inch bolt, we would achieve roughly 150% of the yield strength. Impact Wrench For this demonstration, we are going to use a battery-powered half-inch drive impact wrench to tighten a 7 8 inch bolt. This wrench puts out 780 foot-pounds of maximum torque as per the manufacturer's literature. Also notice the amount of bolt stress that is present on a 7 8 inch stud. Our original target bolt stress is 40% yield, but in this test, we have taken one stud to twice that amount at 78.9 KSI or 80% yield. Notice that the bolt scatter is not desirable. If we apply the same amount of torque to a 3 quarter inch bolt, we would achieve roughly 135% of the yield strength. If we apply the same torque to a 5 eighths inch bolt, we would achieve roughly 250% of the yield strength. Note, it is common to see a 3 quarter inch drive pneumatic in field applications, and that drive size has the capacity to almost double the amount of torque that the half inch drive impact does. Upside down nut and damaged studs. Each nut has markings on the top side of the nut. Correct installations will show the markings facing out. If a nut has been installed incorrectly or backwards, there could be a 25% difference or more in the resultant bolt load for the same torque input.
This stud has minor thread damage. While this may be difficult to see, it can greatly affect bolt load or stress values. This test shows well under specified target bolt stress.